I now want to explain how to find the tangent plane to a surface of the form capital F of x, y, z equals zero at a point x0, y0, z0. So here's the surface where f is equal to zero. And here's some point x0, y0, z0, which we're assuming is on the surface. And what does the tangent plane mean? Well, we could look at curves which are on the surface. And each curve has some velocity vector and different curves have different velocity vectors, but as we'll clarify a little later, at least when the gradient of f is not equal to zero, the set of all possible velocity vectors to curves on the surface form a plane, and that plane is what we call the tangent plane of the surface. So let's assume that the gradient of f at x0, y0, z0 is not equal to zero. Then we know from the previous lecture segment that the gradient of f at x0, y0, z0 is perpendicular to the tangent plane because it's perpendicular to any the velocity vector of any curve on the surface to that point. So now we can just write the equation of the plane in the usual way. So this vector, we can think of as a normal vector of the plane. So the normal vector will be the gradient, which is, if we expand it in components, it's fx at x0, y0, z0, comma, fy at x0, y0, z0, comma, fz at x0, y0, z0. And so the equation of the plane has the form normal vector dot r minus r0 equals 0, where r is the point for which we're trying to decide whether or not it's on the plane. And r0 is our given point x0, y0, z0. And so this is the equation for x, y, z to be on the plane. And if we expand it out, using the formula for dot product, we get that fx of x0, y0, z0 times x minus x0 plus fy evaluated at x0, y0, z0 times y minus y0 plus fz evaluated at x0, y0, z0 times z minus z0 equals zero. Okay, so that's the equation for the tangent plane expanded out. For example, find the tangent plane to the sphere x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals one at a point x zero, y zero, z zero. So we did this example before, but we'll see it's a little simpler if you do it this way. So here we'll take capital F to be um, x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus one. So the sphere is the set where this function capital F is equal to zero. So then the equation for the tangent plane so we have fx at x0, y0, z0, and that's 2x0, because of course fx equals 2x, fy equals 2y, and fz equals 2z, but I have to evaluate this at the point I'm given. So I have x0 times x minus x0 plus, and then fy at this point is y0 times y minus y0, and then plus z0 times z minus z0 equals 0. And then 
I can expand this out to write this as x0, x, sorry, there's no subscript there, plus y0, y, plus z0, z, equals, well, x0 squared plus y0 squared plus z0 squared, which is 1. So that's the same equation we got before. Okay, now I want to clarify a little bit the significance of this condition that the gradient is not equal to 0. So the implicit function theorem can be used to show the following. I won't explain all the details of this. It says that if the gradient of f is not equal to 0 at some point x0, y0, z0, z0 then, um, and let's say um, capital F of x0, y0, z0 equals k. So then the level set where f is equal to k is a smooth surface. near the point x0, y0, z0. Let's see an example of how this works. So suppose that f is equal to z squared minus x squared minus y squared. And let's take k equal to 0. So the level set where f equals k as you'll remember from our discussion of quadratic surfaces, is a cone. Now let's calculate the gradient. So the gradient of f is minus 2x comma minus 2y comma 2z. And in particular, the gradient of f of x0, y0, z0 is not 0 unless x0, y0, z0 is the origin. Because if x0, y0, z0 is not the origin, then at least one of these components is going to be non-zero, which is enough to say that the gradient is non-zero. Now at the origin, you see that the cone is not a smooth surface. It has what we call a singularity. So that's a point where the surface is not smooth. But the rest of the cone is smooth, which is what the implicit function theorem is telling us. And as we saw a minute ago, where it's a smooth surface, the tangent plane is perpendicular to the gradient vector.